This is The Locker Room on News 3. What's good, everybody? The calendar has slipped to November, and that means high school football playoffs are upon us. Thanks so much for joining us for tonight's edition of The Locker Room. Maury and Kemsfield look to keep rolling, while Green Run eyes a perfect regular season. All of that and more in just a bit. But first, the clash of the Titans, per se. Oscar Smith and Phoebus collide to cap off the schedule, treating us to quite the showdown heading into the playoffs. News 3's Megan Plain on the sidelines for this marquee matchup tonight in Chesapeake. Megan? And the marquee matchup certainly drew a crowd tonight, Mark, with Oscar Smith hosting Phoebus. Not only did Tigers fans pack the place, but lots of Phantoms fans made sure to make that trip down from the peninsula to fill those visitor bleachers. And for good reason. These are two of our area's best teams, and tonight they play for bragging rights as they each try to prove that they are the best team in the 7-5-7. And of course, you can't get this game started at Oscar Smith without the Tiger Cage, one of the best entrances in our area. Now first, at the beginning of the game, first drive of the game, Ethan Vasco will hand it off to Sherrod Koval. He's going to be an easy for the score, and Oscar Smith takes a 7-0 lead. We're going to jump from the drive that began when the clock started in the first half to the drive. That transpires as the clock hits zero before halftime. Tigers score on the ground right there again. That time it's Kevon King who finds the end zone and that marks 35 unanswered points scored by Oscar Smith in the first half. Meanwhile, the defense does its job all game long, shutting out Phoebus in Oscar Smith's 42-0 win over the Phantoms. It's a game that serves as a great playoff primer for both teams. It's like playing your Big brother, little brother, or just twin brother, and you guys are matched up. And they got a great staff, they got a great team, and we just came out and it was our night tonight. And I think that they'll go on, they'll get better from it, we'll get better from it, and they'll go on and have a lot of great nights the rest of the season and hopefully, hopefully win it all and hopefully we do the same, starting our journey to, into the playoffs. In that playoff journey, it begins next week as Oscar Smith looks to defend its Class 6 crown. Meanwhile, Phoebus looks to make a run after proving they are the top team in Region 3A. And those playoff pairings, they are set to be released on Monday. With the 757 Showdown, I'm Megan Plain. All right, Megan, thank you very much. Well, one final hurdle standing between Green Run and its first perfect regular season since 1995. Lansdowne looking to play spoiler tonight as it welcomes its rival from down the road in Virginia Beach. The Stallions can look to lock up the top spot in Region 5A with a win as well, but that's not why this little Stallion fan is wide-eyed. In a matter of two plays, the Lansdowne Eagles give Green Run all they can handle. First, Xavier Davis leading his team into the end zone when he's picked off by the Eagle defense. Ball is returned to the 40. Next play, Elijah Douglas with the direct snap. Goes around left end, keeps on going. 60 yards and the Eagles pulled within 10 in the second half, 24-14. Green Run senior Christian Parham would put an end to that though. Uh, that lands down comeback, that touchdown there. Green Run taking care of business tonight, 37-14, your final. Well, still ahead, Kemsville facing Kellum, hoping to stay hot. We'll see if the Chiefs' dream season would continue or if the Knights could snap their winning streak right after this. The Booker T. Washington Band will see if the Bookers could celebrate a win coming up in just a minute. But first, Kemsville has won five straight games, is an eight-point setback against Green Run away from being undefeated. The Chiefs' offense has been clicking as well, scoring at least 33 points in each of its last four outings. Tonight, capping off its schedule with Kellum on the road. You heard the saying, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Besides the burgers and dogs on the grill, of course, the Chiefs had their defense cooking tonight. Junior strong safety Curon Boyd works the tip drill to perfection interception the ball and then watch this tiptoes to left sideline before cutting across Boyd going 101 yards for the touchdown Kempsville up six nothing next Kellum possession Jalen White showing off his sack dance and why not it's coming up here it's been 12 years since Kempsville had a winning season so celebrate it up they go on a seven and one with the 19 to two win to the Chiefs Maury, the top seed in Region 5B, hosting crosstown rival Norview. Commodores strike first on senior night. Saquon Miles decides to keep it himself. Gets in from five yards out. Maury up 6-0. Defense stout as usual. KTC gets into the backfield and gets to Sh uh, Shaden Deloach there for the sack. 12-0 now in the second. Pilots trying to fly on back. Deloach showing off the movers. 
the moves rather, gets the first down, would score several plays later, and a QB keeper from the one, 12 6, but too much miles. And Maury, this one from a little longer, keeps it himself, runs by everybody. Commodores pull away for the 40 to 6 victory. Hey, let's stay in the Eastern District. Lake Taylor has pieced together a winning season featuring comebacks, traveling out of the area, and learning from setbacks. Tonight, the Titans with one final obstacle, an upset-minded Norcom team that has missed a handful of games to COVID. Lake Taylor, fourth in Region 3A, coming into tonight. All Titans this evening. Third quarter, Terry and Washington Jacobs taking the handoff and powers his way into the end zone. Lake Taylor up comfortably. Then, special teams keeps it going. Kamari Trueblood busting through the block to punt. Then watch him stick with it. Recovers for the touchdown. All going right for the Titans. Defense strong as well. Isaiah Thompson coming through the line there untouched. Comes up with a sack. Lake Taylor caps off the regular season with that big victory. How about Manor clinging to the final playoff spot in 4A, visiting Booker T. Washington, scores in the third quarter. Not anymore. How about the moves of Jerome Jones for the Bookers? He'll weave his way in and out, break some tackles, avoid defenders, cut back across the field, 80 yards to the house. Breaks that last tackle there. Booker T. up 8-0. Mustangs answering right back. Trayvon Williams taking the handoff. Gets outside, scoring from six yards out. Tied at eight after the two-pointer to the fourth now. Here's your game winner. On fourth down, Raekwon Mills fires, tipped by the Bookers, but a Marion Collins coming down with it. Manor picks up the big win, 16 to eight, your final score. Churchland has gone with some big wins this year, hosting Granby tonight. Truckers getting it done on the ground. Jordan Riddick takes the handoff and caps off the drive with this score here. Then it's quarterback Braden, Brandon Hillman rather showing off the speed. Takes the snap, keeps it himself, goes to his left, and finding Pater. Truckers looking good. Then more Hillman, this time trying the right side and finding plenty of success. He'll take this one 85 yards to the house. Churchland, impressive in its regular season finale, 35 nothing. your final score. Hey, some college action under the Friday night lights this evening. Could Virginia Tech get a win on the road at Boston College? That's coming up right after this. A few other scores to pass along to you at the beach. Bayside sneaking by Ocean Lakes there, 15 to 14. Salem gets the win over Cox. Moving on. Tallwood takes down Princess Anne 42 to 8. Still waiting on a score there from Grassfield and Indian River. How about Lakeland uh, falling to Hickory there 38 to 30. Kings Fort, meanwhile, takes care of Nansman River in a battle of Suffolk 42 to 15. Heritage rolling past Denby 42 to 13. And Deep Creek shutting out Great Bridge 49 to nothing. Finally tonight, Atlantic Shores gets by Portsmouth Christian, handing them a loss, and Norfolk Academy takes down Norfolk Christian in a battle of the Mermaid 